Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to back up your library. So with Silhouette Studio, um, you can save your files inside your Silhouette library. You can save them on your hard drive or you can save them on your cloud drive. Uh, whichever one works best for you and I, I kind of do a combination of everything. Uh, so when I download files from a designer or some freebies that I've gotten and things like that, I will move them into my library and then I will take the original download and save that on an external hard drive. So I've got that back up there. But my library I have organized and I have it organized by designer or by location or source of wherever I've obtained it um, and my local user. And then my cloud library is mostly store designs and a few things that I use um, on my laptop when I'm working from there. And so uh, we want to back up both. If um, you ever have a computer crash, or you have your software crash, or you get a new computer or something like that, you're going to lose your um, library if you don't have a, a copy of that. So you want to make sure that you back it up on a regular basis, especially if you're saving things in your library that you don't have saved anywhere else. And so it's really easy to do. I'm working in 4.1.201 which as of today, October 11th, is the most current released version of Silhouette Studio. I'm working on a Mac, but this process is going to be the same whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And it's going to be the same pretty much for any version that's 3.7 or newer. Any version that has the cloud. Uh, things may look a little bit different and you're still, if you're still in version 3, but um, the process is pretty much the same for anybody on a cloud. Uh, account like I have here. So we are in our library and I'm going to right click on local user and you can see I have two options here. So again, we're just going to right click on local user. I'm going to click export local user and then it's going to pop up with a save location. So this is going to depend on uh, where you want to save this. I save it directly onto my desktop and then I move it over to my external hard drive. So I like to keep it on there. Um, which is also backed up to another hard drive. So I have several copies of everything. And you can see that the extension is .studio underscore library. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go silhouette bu and then 10, 11. So I have silhouette backup and then today's date. And the desktop is perfect. So I'm just going to click OK. And I have a rather large library you can see that I have about 53,000 files most of those are in my local user maybe about 5,000 of them are in the cloud but it is going to take a minute for it to kind of start the download process and it's going to take it a minute to download you can see it started and so we will come back when it gets done okay so our backup is done and you can See, here on the desktop is my backup. And again, the file extension is a .studio underscore library. This file in and of itself doesn't do anything. There's no application to open it with. There's no way to look at your library or check it. It is just simply a backup of your library. And so what happens is if you had a new install of your software, you were putting it on a new computer, or um, for some reason you lost your library in your Silhouette Studio, you would go to File, Library, Import Library. And then you would navigate to your backup file and click OK. I'm not going to do that because what it's going to do is it's going to create a duplicate of everything I have, and I don't want that. But this right here would be imported back into Silhouette Studio. You can't, but like I said, you can't, um, you can't test it. There's no way to look at it, um, to browse what your files are, anything like that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do the same thing for the cloud library. Yes, it's in the cloud, and yes, it should be safe, but I'm never one to rely on somebody else to protect my data and so you're going to do the same thing. You're going to right click on your cloud. You're going to export and again you're going to name it 
whatever it is you want to name it and just click OK. And this one's going to go a lot faster because I have a lot less files. Okay, so that one's all done. And again, you can see on my desktop, here's my cloud backup. And it would be the same way. You would just go in and um, go to File, Library, Import Library, and choose the one that you want to import. So uh, I try to create a backup every couple of days unless I've created a bunch of new files or rearranged my library or um, added a bunch of new stuff. Uh, every couple of days seems to work for me. Um, if I do a lot of big stuff, I will do a backup that night, even if I did one the night before. But you really want to get in the habit of doing this on a regular basis. You never know what can happen. You know, computers can get corrupt, programs can get corrupt. Sometimes when you uh, update your software, there could be a glitch somewhere. And, you know, it might only happen to half a percent of the people, but if it were you, uh, the one that it happened to, you know, you really want to have that backup. So always back up before you upgrade. Uh, always back up before you do anything crazy with your computer. Always back up when you add a bunch of new stuff. Uh, and then just, like I said, date these. You can go back and delete older ones. You don't need to save all of them. Uh, I keep a extra backup drive um, where I just will take these and I will drag them right onto my hard drive there, which gets backed up as well. Uh, but that way I have a backup no matter what happens. I don't leave them on my computer desktop. Now, if you, if you are just updating your software, um, let's say a new version comes out and you want to update your software, you don't necessarily need to move this onto an external hard drive and all that stuff. You could stick it on a flash drive um, for short term, but just having that backup before you update just in case something goes wrong uh, is always a good idea. Um, but saving it on your desktop, if you were to lose your laptop, if that's what you're using, or something were to happen to your hard drive, you would lose that backup if it was also on your computer. So it's real easy to do. It doesn't take that long. Um, even with 53,000 files, it still only took me maybe 10 minutes to do the backup. So I just kind of let it go uh, at the end of the day when I'm done with all of my work. And, and that's all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And uh, again, back up your files every chance you get. Thanks, guys.